Hello everyone! In this video, we will explore the various functionalities related to images. To begin, we'll use an image from the intraoral section, accessible by clicking the second button after you made a double click on a patient icon. Once you've accomplished that, double click on the image, and a new window will emerge, revealing an array of exciting features that we'll explore together. Feel free to select more images and open them simultaneously, clicking the upper Open button if you desire. But let's start with one for now. Firstly, we'll discover the ease of moving and zooming the image. To revert any changes and restore the image to its initial state, simply click the second button with the lock icon. Furthermore, the third button offers a convenient way to take measurements of the image, while the fourth button allows you to switch between eight different viewing modes, catering to your specific needs. Moving on, the following button lets you clean the image by hiding all information displayed over it. Now let's explore the fifth button, which opens a new window with additional functions, such as associating annotations or notes with specific groups of teeth. By selecting different areas, you can not only choose the relevant part of the image for examination, but also specify the type of exam. Moreover, when you link a specific type of tooth to a particular photo, this association will be automatically saved across other functions, like the dental chart function in the previous menu. Upon accessing this screen, you'll find the corresponding image placed above the selected tooth for easy reference. Next, the button allows you to create a customizable square, which you can edit and move to frame the specific area you want to enlarge. The broom, instead of the second button, deletes only the measuring line while preserving other edits. The two following buttons are related, with the first one decreasing and the second one increasing the image's luminosity. You can also access a drop-down menu on the right to modify various image characteristics. Additionally, below the menu, you'll find some interesting options, such as inverting the black-white color, or creating a spotlight to observe the image in greater detail. Moving on to the second to last button, it showcases different types of images from which you can choose the preferred one to use. Lastly, the last button adjusts the image's luminosity, allowing you to accentuate specific aspects and facilitate a better observation and analysis. On the left side, we can also find a similar concept with many functions to assist in image analysis. This section of buttons will be thoroughly explained in a dedicated video. If you have any questions along the way, feel free to ask.